Hi, this is Mabel's Tables, and I have another video for you for faux cakes, and this is what I love to do. This is my passion, and I am going to be doing this, and tablescapes are my passion too, but I love making faux foods. So I found this little can. Isn't it pretty? Look at the shape of that. It looks like an iron. Really, it does. And I, it was some um, ham, some ham that I got from all these. And I thought this was so pretty. So I washed it out real good. And I am going to make a beautiful little small cake out of this. I've already got my frosting mixed together. And today I'm using this. Today I'm using the joint compound and I have added my coloring to it and this is my coloring right here and this is called deep brown and I got it from um, the dollar store from um, from Dollar Tree I'm all messed up this day how are you today I hope you're doing fine and I pray that God has been in your life all of your life okay let's get started so I won't be long because this is so small so it won't take me long to do this and to decorate this first what I'm going to do I'm just going to frost it and you know how I normally frost my things but this time because this is so small I'm just going on the top Okay, and then I'm going to work my way around here. It's so small, so it's not going to take me long to frost this. And I cut me a piece of cardboard out so I can put it on the cardboard and turn it around and around as I frost. So I'm going to go ahead and start doing that. I'm going to put it right here on top, and then I'm going to bring it down. On top and bring it down. Top and bring it down, okay? This is what I'm doing. And your hands do get nasty with this. Um, so, but I don't worry about that because I keep me a wet towel by my side to keep wiping, Okay. It's going to take a minute for me to get through with this. And I'm putting this on pretty heavy because I have something that I want to go on here and um, and around it. And I think you're going to love it. So I'm going to just keep going here and I'm going to get some more of this frosting here. Y'all, do y'all know that time... It's something else that, you know, a lot of people think we have time. We don't have time. That's why we should try to do what we should could do right now for God because we don't know when our time uh, is coming. You know, so much is going on now because the Antichrist is out. <clears throat> One of the Antichrists is out. And people don't believe that. That's why we get caught up into things because we're looking for something else. And then the, uh, the real thing is right there in front of us, but we don't want to acknowledge it. You got to start using your head and ask God to open up your eyes and your knowledge so you can see what's going on around you so you won't get caught up into nothing and be aware of everything that's around you. And how are you going to do that? You're going to do that by praying and asking God to give you a discernment. You got to have a discernment in this world because if you don't have a discernment, you basically can get yourself lost and caught up into all kind of unnecessary things that's not even of God. And you have your eyes can be blinded and you'll never know. I don't mean just blind like the physical blind. I mean the spiritual blindness. You know, we can have spiritual blindness as well. So you got to be aware of things around you. Not that you're going to just be frightful every time something moves, but just be aware of things that are around you. Don't let anything, ask the Lord to not let anything slip up on you. And you know, he'll answer your prayer. 
I, I promise you he'll answer your prayer. He'll let you know before anything happens. And um, he won't let anything slip up on us. If we trust and believe him, I promise you he will not let anything slip up on you, nor will he let anything come to harm you. So you must at all times remember to keep God in your focus as much as you can because it's so much nowadays that take our focus off of God. It's, it's hard. That's why we must pray to ask God to help us stay focused and rooted and grounded in his word. Yes, we got to because so much is going down. You don't want to be lost and you don't want to be left behind. You don't want to. Some people say, oh, no, I don't know whether the rapture hasn't come yet because I'm still here. Well, you might be still here because you got some things to do that you hadn't finished up. But um, you got to think about what the rapture means. Look it up. I'm not going to talk to you about that. But you look that up and see what it means. It doesn't mean what you think it means. That's when it's so good to get a good understanding of the Word of God. So you won't be stupid, as they call it. You know, sometimes you could be dumb to the Word of God. Think you know it all and don't know anything. Because a lot of people take the Bible and interpret it for what they want it to mean. And have other people fooled by this. That's why you... Uh, that's why you listen to the Spirit, and the Spirit tells you, a Spirit knows the Spirit. You'll know the truth when you hear it, when you put your mind to mind to uh, learning the right way to discern these spirits. And these spirits are real tricky, and there's nothing you can do about them because they are really, really tricky, and you got to be smart. And how you going to get smart? You can't get smart on your own because you can't fight no spirit or no demon on your own. Do not be misled and be not be fooled. You cannot fight a demon on your own. Okay, let me, um, I got that all frosted up and now I'm going turning it around and around so I can see in the areas that needs to be redone. That's the way God do us. You know, he turned us round and around to get us ready for anything that's coming into our life. He we pull off the old us and put on the new so we'll be able to tackle all the things that's coming into our life. That's what he does to us. We're just like a cake, get frosting it on it too, because we have to be pulled around and around and around to get ourselves fixed and ready for anything that's coming into our life. Well, okay, I got that on there, and I have these beautiful little flowers here. See how pretty they are? I hauled these from, from Dollar Tree. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this leaf and took it off, and I'm going to put the leaf on it like this. And put that there, like that, into the cake. And then I'm going to take some of the frosting and put it in here as a glue. Just like this. And I'm going to take the flour and put it in that frosting. So when it dries, it'll dry with that uh, frosting on it. it um as a glue okay so we're gonna do this again go do it again and we're gonna put that in there again then we're gonna put that over there again and we're gonna take some more and put it here for glue and we're gonna take our flour and put it right there okay now we're gonna put one right here Yes, we all have to be made over so we can see, ask God to help you see trouble when it starts to come. Because trouble's going to come. If it don't come, you need to try to examine and see what's going on. Okay, we're going to do this again. And we're going to put that right in there. And this is turning out real well, don't you think so? I think so. Okay, let's see now. I'm going to get this out. Get this out. 
And we're going to put this right here. And this was just a little small. You saw a little small container that I got uh, some, um, like, it's almost like spam meat. But they called it, it was a ham, they said. But it, was, it tasted almost like spam. It was good meat. Yes, it was. And um, we had we ate it. We used it for breakfast, and it was delicious. I promise you, it was just totally delicious, and I loved it. So I'm gonna put a little on here. Um, that's why I did this kind of heavily, so um, <clears throat> so my flowers will stick. Mm hmm. And then I'm gonna put this one right there. See. And just look at how pretty that is turning out. Y'all, it only takes a minute to do something right and to make it look good. And a good thing you can do, right, is trusting God. If you trust God with all you got, everything will turn out all right. So I'm going to put this on here. And I'm going to get another piece of greenery. Let's see. See, I can find one to match that. I keep uh, greenery. Because you never know when you're going to need it. It's, yeah, it's about the same color, different, but that's okay. We're looking for beauty. And there we go. And just look how fast I did that and how beautiful it turned out. Now, this is what I want to do now because I just, I can't leave well enough alone. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I'm going to take these and put them right here on this little cake here. And I'm going to put this one right here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to take this one and put it right here. Uh-oh. There you have it. Now, just take a look at that. A little tin turned into a chocolate cake. Now, isn't that beautiful? Absolutely. Now, when you go to get these little cakes, like these faux cakes, they charge you an arm and a leg. I saw a faux cake for over $200. I mean, not a cake you can eat, but one that's inedible, just like this, for uh, a lot of money. Take a look. Go check the prices out on some of these cakes. Some of them are $69, $79. Go check them out, and then you can make them yourself. You don't have to have that styrofoam. You can use boxes, cups, bowls, anything plastic, something that you don't want. I prefer not if you're not. Use glass, because if you drop it, you're going to break your glass. But use things that... um. That, that you're going to throw away. Use things that's, you know, uh, uh, trash to treasure thing. This is what I use. Thank you so very much for looking at me make this little trash to treasure cake. And I pray that you pray that the world gets better and that God come on in. Because he said for his elect's sake that he was short in time. We pray that God will come on in and help us. If he can't shorten time. Yet, because his word never lies. If he can't short, shorten time yet, maybe he will sh give us the incentive to be. Let us not be so fast into doing things. I thank you for looking. Thank you for subscribing and pray that all is well with you and yours. This is Mabel's Table saying God is in large and in charge and that this is his world. And have a blessed and great day. Mabel's Table saying adieu. God bless you.